Pain, not death, is the enemy of mankind. Once you learn about body prune myotherapy, you won't have to worry about living with pain anymore. We're going to show you how to get rid of head, neck, and shoulder pain with this segment. This is Dottie, she'll be helping me, and I'm Lori Drummond, certified body prune myotherapist. And this is a bodo. We'll use this so that we don't have to strain our hands. This is a dowel. It has a nice little handle so that you can hold on to it. I run my index finger down the length of the dowel to give me um, more security and more control and it makes the bodo more of an extension of my arm. But in order for you to see what I'm doing, I'm just going to crunch my finger up and get it out of the way. Most headaches will start from the back of the neck, so that's where we'll begin. Find your partner's spine. Slide halfway out to the ear. You should find a nice little groove. That's going to be our guideline. Put your bodo down in that groove. Support their head. You're going to press deep and angle up under the base of the skull. This allows you to trap the trigger point. You're looking for a sensitive point in the muscle. Once you have it, you're going to hold it for about seven seconds. If there's no trigger point, it won't be sensitive. Slide halfway down the neck. Same thing in that same groove. Roll over. This time we're aiming towards the Adam's apple. You always want to find out how much the uh, patient is experiencing the pain on a scale of 1 to 10. You don't want to press over a 7. So make sure you get feedback from them. From here, we're going to continue down to right about even with the top of the shoulder blade to get at these guys and make it easier for us. We're going to have them lean forward and rest on their arms. I'm going to go right about even with the shoulder blade. And if I step to the side, I'm too short to reach over her, but this gives me good access. Elbow down. I'm going to give her support so I don't push her on the floor. Roll up onto your point and just relax into it. These trigger points cause neck tension, shoulder tension, headaches, but they can also contribute to upper back pain. Come around to the side while we've got them here. We're going to hit a key trigger point that has to do with anything going on in the arms and hands, shoulder, head, and neck. Find the top of the shoulder blade under the arm. Come halfway between those two points, just behind where the seam of her shirt would be. And that's where we want to go. Put your elbow down. Get her up against you so that you can stabilize her. Use your opposite hand and you can pull towards you. Again, ask for feedback because these can be really sensitive. And don't forget these points if you've got anything going on in the upper body. And have your patient sit up and we'll go across the top of the traps, the trapezius muscle. This is a nice bulky muscle. We're going to go right on the ridge. If you go out too far, it's kind of bony, so come on the inside of that acromion process. We'll do two points right on the ridge. Put your elbow down. Roll up onto your point and then just relax into that. You always want to stabilize your patient, ask them for feedback, and you always want another point of contact. This other hand is always on them. You don't want it in the air. That gives them two points. Go ahead for your second point. That gives them two points of contact so it's not just pain. And you're always working like a hydraulic press. You're going in slowly, coming off slowly. We just did these two points. We're going to go right in between them, just behind them, still above that rim on the shoulder blade, elbow down. I'm going to stabilize her, roll up onto my point, and I'm kind of pushing away from here because that muscle's on an angle. So I want to push into the bulk of that muscle. These trigger points are responsible for tension in the shoulder, neck, headaches, and they can also contribute to trouble going on down in the arm. To stretch these, I'm going to have her pull her shoulders up to her ears, press them down, and don't just drop them. Make sure you press them down. Pull them up to your ears, press them down. This is the stretching part. And one more time, up to the ears. When you're doing your homework exercises at home, make sure you do about four to five repetitions, at least four or five times a day. You're trying to break the habit. Now, for number 13, this area we did on the shoulder blade, I'm going to have you put your arm out in front, turn your hand under and stretch out away from you, and up. Turn under and stretch, and up. Under, and when she stretches, that gets that whole area there. 
and really reach forward as you're turning under and up and relax. Perfect. And let's go ahead and have you turn. Perfect, slightly, perfect. We're going to go now to the front of the neck. This huge sternocleidomastoid muscle, it starts just behind the ear and goes around to the little notch in the collarbone. If I have her turn, you can see where that muscle stands out. Put your index finger in the front, your thumb in the back. Now turn straight ahead so it's not too tight to squeeze and go ahead and squeeze that muscle. These trigger points can contribute to headaches, jaw pain, ringing in the ears, and even dizziness. Slide about halfway down and squeeze again. These can also pull on the chest and contribute to chest pain. And I'm going to have you come straight ahead and we'll do the face. When you're working on the head, make sure you stabilize. Find the eye. We're going to come just above the eyebrow and I am going to slide the skin down, no pressure. I'm going to roll my finger under that bone and then press back up against that bone. So we're trapping the trigger point. These are important for headaches behind the eye. They can be important for just general headaches. These trigger points can also contribute to wrinkling in the forehead. There's a little muscle in there that was designed to wrinkle your forehead. You can help that by rolling also above and pressing in. We'll help you with that corrugator muscle. Now come out to the outside of the eye. There's like a little hollow there where your temporalis muscle is. Stabilize the head. Press straight in and we're going to do a five point compass. Press deep and slide up. We're trapping the trigger point against the rim of that bone. Ease up and slide the muscle down so you hit the lower portion. Ease up and slide forward towards the eye. And again, you're pressing up against the rim of that bone, so we're trapping the trigger point. And always find out, make sure you're not pressing harder than what's comfortable for your patient. If you have them grit their teeth, you can feel where that large masseter muscle is and relax. We're going to use a knuckle, press deep, and we're angling back towards their ear. Now this muscle is directly connected with the temporalis. So if you have stubborn pain in the temporal area, make sure you get at the masseter. If you have stubborn jaw pain, make sure you go after the temporalis. They're all connected and they directly pull on each other. Okay, and to stretch the sternocleidomastoid, we're just gonna have you turn nice and easy from one side and back to the other. And one side and back to the other, okay? These are just a few of the key trigger points on one side of the body. You always wanna make sure you do both sides of the body in body prudent myotherapy, even if you only have a headache or pain on one side, always balance it off. Otherwise, the trigger points you leave behind will activate the ones that you've just diffused. These, again, are the key points for more complete information on Bonnie Pruden Myotherapy. Please turn to bonniepruden.com on our website, and you'll find a listing of the books, tools, and seminars that will give you more thorough training. Thank you for watching, and as Bonnie would say, keep fit, be happy.